Well, first, I really, really like that ring um, to, to you know hear, hear hear your name as the head coach and something that that I've thought about and dreamed about and been, been really been a part of um, over the last ten years of my coaching career and. Uh, to, to see the response at the at the press conference and the the bear fans and the donors and the and the administration, um, op, you know, players um, attended. Um, what 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 a neat deal and super super excited, um, humbled um, and, and and ready to get to work for those people in that press conference. It was my job to go and, and get the job. You know, I didn't want to take anything for granted. And when Brad told me that that. I'm going to bring in a guy four years ago to mentor you and, and, and be the best move for you to be the next guy here. I took that to heart and um, I, 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 you know, I want people to know that it wasn't just an overnight deal. Um, I, you, know, I'd sp you know, I spent time studying what head coaches do. I, you know, I would, I would uh, take pictures of different things I would see that head coaches are doing. I would you know, write an email to somebody and get suggestions. So um, this is not an, an overnight deal. This was not a, um, you know, you know I, I think I want this head job. It was, you know, it's definitely something that's been a process and something that I've worked towards, um, you know, throughout my whole, coach, whole coaching career because it wasn't just four years ago that I knew I wanted to be the head coach here. Um, I knew this was a place I loved and, and uh, obviously wanted to be a part of for years to come when I was, when I was a student athlete here. So um, to get this opportunity is really, really, really humbling and something that I'm super excited to be a part of. I'm sorry, I wasn't ready then, and, and, and you know, I may have halfway in my heart thought I was ready then, but I wasn't. Um, you know, I'm four years older, I'm four, year, four years more, more experienced. Um, I've got to, got to see a, a different spectrum of a coaching philosophy. Um, you know, prior to that, I'd been a part of one staff as a, as a coach and as a player. And um, Dr. Teague, one of his, one of his um, you know, mentoring, um, you know, words of wisdom to me was, you got an opportunity to, to expand your knowledge and what you know with another staff. So um, couldn't have been more blessed for, for it to be Steve Campbell and, and, and Miss Shelley coming here and, and then putting together a great staff and, and really learning and reflecting off each other for the last four years. So, um, you know, getting the opportunity to, to see how things are done in a different light. He had a passion for football. I mean, I don't think that there was any doubt of that that man loved football, loved, loved the game, loved everything about it, everything from uh, practices to um, road trips on the bus to the X's and O's in the film room. Um, and then he, you know, he, there wasn't a more positive person, you know, for those kids. I mean, they, he, he, he bled positivity to them. They, they knew um, that they could go run through a wall for him, and, 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 and that's what they did, you know, throughout the last four years. So um, to be, you know, to have a front row seat to that and, and, and learn and, and watch and trust um, what Coach Campbell did, um, you know, is definitely going to benefit, benefit me in the near future. You know, usually, especially at the Division One level, most head coaches aren't involved in coaching a position. You know, that man, if you'd have came to practice, you wouldn't have even known he was the head coach. He was, he was entrenched in the offensive line and, and what they were doing and what they were about. And, and I think the kids, you know, saw that and, 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 and thought of him more in a realistic way when he, when he was that way. So, um, you know, that was an opportunity for me to kind of step back and go, wow, this is a different way to, to go about um, you know, your coaching philosophy and what you want to have with your team um, as opposed to just kind of being the stand around CEO type, which is great for a lot of people. And, uh, but just, 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 you know, his passion, passion for practice and, and developing players and getting better every day, um, that's what, you know, I really took from him. And I, you know, when I visited with Dr. Teague, I gave him, you know, the scenarios that I saw happening. Um, um, and, and one of those is that, that, that I would be a part of the offense, um, coaching quarterbacks, calling plays. Um, and continue kind of in the role I had. There's also other opportunities if I can get a certain coach or two um, to slot in some different spots, um, then, then that, that could change and, and, and uh, you know, maybe coach another position or not coach a position at all. So um, definitely open to it. Um, not 100% sure what direction we're going to go in yet, but that will be decided in the near future. It's funny, I was doing an you know, interview with Justin earlier and, and, and kind of mentioned, you know, I got to I got to brush up on my my referee banter, you know. So I know Coach Campbell is great at that, but uh, yeah, it is, you know. But I think I'm excited about. It. I've never coached a football game um, in my career on the on, from the sideline, you know. I've always been in the in the in the press box, and you know the game's in slow motion up there, and that was I think what allowed me to have success as a play caller. And you know you could just see the game in a different light. But what you get when you go downstairs is you get a chance to, to see the game, see the players' eyes, see how they're reacting, 
um, you know, and, and be in the middle of what a football game's about. And, uh, you know, I think as a player, you know, that was one of my, you know, one of my best attributes was, you know, knowing the flow of the game, knowing if I needed to get on somebody or if I needed to encourage somebody. And hopefully I can carry that over to uh, being the head coach from the sideline.